one is they're going to check the ID and make sure that the right person is registering. Okay. And give them some information about the bus for their athlete dinner. Then they come to step two. Oh, here comes somebody now. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? I am Angel and I work for the CrossFit Games and I'm helping out with uh, athlete registration. This is my team, this is Lucas, John. We're called Athlete Control, but that sounds a little uh, <laughs> controlling. <laughs> We're going to be herding the athletes around all, uh, all week and weekend and make sure that they're where they're supposed to be and when. Came in on Saturday with Don Hasselbeck. We set up the shoes here. And uh, we're outfitting all the athletes with shoes. Today's the individuals. It's huge. Like, I walked in the lobby of the Marriott and I was like, oh my god. Like, a few years ago, we were in Port of John's on a hill in the dirt with dirt in my hair, dirt in my teeth. And now we're like in this beautiful hotel with all these awesome people and Reebok and all the goodies. Like, it's like Christmas in here for these guys. So it's awesome. Just getting to see all the people, getting to see my friends, getting to see. You know, it's like a big reunion every year, so it never that never gets old. But this is pre-games training for next year. I have to gain three more inches in my booty by December, and bacon every day has helped that happen. So um, I need bacon and cookies. Are you gonna eat the whole plate? Um, apparently nobody else is eating them, and I feel obligated because they brought them up with our lunch. So I, I, I may. It's really neat to see how much work and manpower goes into just this three-day event. I mean, it's just getting bigger. It's, it's just, the machine is growing and in a good way. Not, you know, usually it's associated, growth is associated with a negative connotation. Here it's like, it's, it's, you know, everything's getting more legitimate and it's fun. It's like a, it's like a high school reunion, but really badass. <laughs> I mean, nothing, nothing ever stays the same, but that's good, right? You, you want to you wanna change and grow and I think it's done that without losing I don't think we've lost anything from Aromas. I think I think there's still the camaraderie and the um, the family community feel. It's just it just looks a little different. And I think if it stayed the same, I, I'd be concerned if it stayed the same for five years. My name is Chantel. I am the director of volunteers with uh, Johnny Mac. As much as it is about fitness and keeping in shape, I think a lot more of it is about the community of the people that you're doing it with. And uh, that's why people stick with it and, and love it and volunteer for a week, take vacation time from Florida to come out here and volunteer the week of the games. That's why they do it. Stop three is all the accessories. So they get headbands, hats, um, socks of all kinds, low cut, knee high, and compression. I'm a Reebok employee. I started hearing my friends talking about these wad things and I had no idea what they meant. Got really interested, um, started with a local box who was actually on Hermosa Pier. Um, it was a perfect location, walked down to the beach and got my workout in. Then I actually went back to corporate and that next meeting they announced the partnership. I was like, good timing. Do I feel like the sentiment has changed? No, I don't, I don't think so. It's still at a point where if you're walking around and you're wearing a CrossFit tee and you meet somebody and they'll, they'll, you know, you go through the whole like, yeah, my back squat's terrible too and I need to work on double unders and if you're ever in, you know, Biloxi, Mississippi, come down. I live there. I have a CrossFit gym. Come visit and stay on my couch. I still see a lot of that and I think uh, a lot of the people I meet in CrossFit are still just generous and awesome and, and humble. So I think that that grassroots community aspect is still there despite the fact that it's gotten so much bigger. Did you compete in the games? <laughs> 2009. 2009. And so are you retired? Yes. I, I, there's no way I could compete with these amazing women today. But 2009 no was yeah. the hardest games ever. No. It wasn't? No. What was the hardest games ever? I feel like these games are the hardest games ever. Really? Yes. And how long have you been doing CrossFit? Since, since September of 2005. It's been a little while. Kind and of an old fart in the community now. <laughs> Well said. You don't look like an old fart, but um, I'm gonna bunch you're the coolest-looking old fart, the prettiest old fart I've ever seen. Um, 